What if your next co-worker didn't talk, didn't sleep, and had wheels for feet? Meet the Lynx N20, not your average Robodog. This thing isn't made to fetch tennis balls. It's made to conquer chaos. Straight out of China's deep robotics lab, this wheeled quadruped was built for one mission, survive the extreme, and make it look easy. Let's talk about what makes the Lynx N20 such a game changer. This Robodog doesn't just walk, it rolls. When it needs speed, it zips along on four wheels. But when the terrain gets rough, the wheels lock, and it walks just like a real animal. It can climb stairs, pass through narrow spaces as small as 50 centimeters, and step over obstacles up to 80 centimeters high. The M20 is built for extreme environments, with IP66 weather protection and the ability to operate in temperatures from minus 20 to 55 degrees Celsius. It's packed with smart features like a 96-line lidar sensor for full 360-degree awareness, a wide-angle front camera, and bright lights for night or dark area operations. The battery lasts up to 3 hours, but if that's not enough, you can hop-swap it in seconds to keep going. And it doesn't just move, it works. It can carry up to 15 kilograms of equipment, making it perfect for inspections, emergency response, research, or logistics support. The Pro version even adds autonomous charging, mapping, and advanced navigation features, turning the Lynx N20 into a fully independent field robot. Now, here's the big flex, while most robot dogs walk, the Lynx N20 glides. Those wheels aren't just for show. They give this rover dog the speed of a rover and the stability of a mountain goat. And it's rugged, but lightweight, only 33 kilograms, battery included. Price tag? Around $18,000 for the standard model, which, for this level of performance, is a serious deal. So yeah, the future has four legs, four wheels, and a job to do. The Lynx M20 isn't here to play fetch. It's here to redefine what a field robot can do. So, what do you think? Is the Lynx M20 the future of robotics in extreme environments, or just the beginning? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, we'd love to hear where you think this Robodog should be deployed next.